Peace and goodness, everybody. Let's present a new topic for this week. But first of all, let's start with the following video. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay guys, welcome to our English class. And here, let's start with a beautiful phrase about our school. Here. Peace and goodness, dear students. I hope all of you and your family feel good with the God's blessings. We always keep in mind all the healthy recommendations, especially for this hard time that is coronavirus pandemic. So, let's start with a new topic for this week. Keeping in mind our health care in the family contest as well as our mother's fun dress, Sierva de Dios Clara del Corazón de María, who we ask to okay for our family health and well-being. In that case, we have in Spanish, in Spanish sets. For example, here we have an interesting topic that is the Madre Clara del Corazón de María, this interesting picture, and also an interesting phrase. Si somos hijas de María Inmaculada, debemos ser santas. But in that case, we have a, in English, if we are Immaculate Mary's daughters, we must be holy, okay? That is an interesting phrase, and also it's very important that all of you, we have to learn this part, and also memorize this part, because it's very important for us, okay? Es muy importante para nosotros aprender ello y tenerlo siempre en cuenta, así como sabemos de memoria en español de responder, si somos hijas de María Inmaculada, debemos ser santas, también deberíamos de aprenderlo en inglés. We, we are Immaculate Mary Daughters, We must be holy. En las clases vamos a ir practicando ello siempre, chicos. ¿Ok? Let's continue. In here we have the day for today, Monday 20th, July 2020. As a competition achievement, we have adapt the test and use conventions. And the topic for this week is will and be going to. In that case, we have to focus in the future plans. Vamos a enfocarnos todo lo que es acerca del futuro. ¿Cuándo? When you have to use will and when you have to use be going to. ¿Y cuándo vamos a utilizar el will y el be going to? As example of this, will and be going to. In that case, says, we use will and be going to to make predictions about the future. Acerca para hacer predicciones para el futuro. For example, it will be windy and foggy tomorrow. It's going to rain later. No, va a llover. Acá dice, será, estará, será lo que es exactamente. Pero it's going to, eso va a ser, ¿ok? In the caso, we use will for spontaneous decisions. Things we decide to do at the moment of speaking. For example, utilizamos el will cuando es una decisión espontánea para las cosas que nosotros decidimos hacer en el momento que hablamos. ¿no? El will, algo espontáneo, se trabaja con el will porque no es algo que se está planificando, es algo que nosotros pensamos que vamos a realizar. Entonces sale de espontáneamente y trabajamos todo lo que es hacerlo con el will. Sin embargo, acá, for example, nos dice, Are we meeting at a true place for a coffee? Great, I bring a cake, ¿no? For example, algo espontáneo. Nos invita a una fiesta. Yes, I will bring a cake. I bring a soda. Llevaré un queque. Llevaré tal cosa. Llevaré algo, ¿no? Iré, sí. Iré. I will, um, I will go with my friends. Iré con mis amigos, ¿no? Algo espontáneo. La respuesta salió así inmediata. 
¿no? De ello es algo que no se decide en el momento, simplemente el momento de hablar y de lograr. En ello se trabaja lo que es el will. What happened when you be going to? ¿Por qué le decimos be going? ¿Por qué be y no going to? Porque siempre el going to va a ir seguido del verbo to be. ¿El verbo to be cuáles son? Es el is, el are y el am. Pero ustedes ya saben, cuando trabajan con el am? Solamente con el I. En el caso del is, trabajan con el she, he, it, is. Y en el caso de lo que es el are, trabajan con el we, con el you, y en el caso con el they. Entonces, base a ello, siempre el be going to va a ir enlazado y acompañado del be, del verbo to be. Sin embargo, el will va solo. ¿Qué, ¿Cuándo se va a trabajar con el be going to? ¿Cuándo lo van a utilizar, chicos? Acá nos dice, We just be going to, to talk about future plans and intentions. For example, I'm going to walk more this year. En el caso del going to, vamos a hablar cuando ustedes ya tienen planificado algo. Es un plan que es más que se va a realizar sí o sí. Es algo que tiene más, más precisión que el will, porque el will sale de manera espontánea, pero no se sabe si se podrá realizar o no. En el caso de be going to, es algún plan que tú ya lo has calculado, lo has precipitado, tú has dicho, sí, lo voy a hacer, ¿no? Entonces, ello es una intención que usted ya ha planificado, exactamente, y por ello se trabaja el be going to. Como ustedes saben aquí, el be reemplaza a line, o también puede reemplazar a list, o puede reemplazar a learn. En el caso, I'm going to walk, yo voy a caminar más este año, ¿no? Es algún plan, una intención que ella sea, sea comprometido a realizar, ¿no? Eso trabajamos con el going to, va. In order to know more about this part, let's start, uh, we work with our student book to be, ¿ok? What is our student book? Open my The second edition, level 2. ¿Ok? Let's continue and also let's practice this important topic. ¿Ok? This part. Grammar. We are going to. Language in context. Read these conversations. What are two women upset about? Dice, ¿cuáles a dos mujeres están molestas? ¿El por qué? For example, look at this. They are going to build a new factory upside down. What? Oh no, that's will terrible. There'll be more pollution and more traffic. You're right. And it's going to affect tourists. It will be a disaster for this area. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Well, I'm going to write to the newspaper. I know lots of people who won't be happy about this. I'll help you. Great. We could start an online camping where they are going to have a fight of their hands. I'll get the table, uh, tablet and we can start writing. In order to know more about this part, we have to analyze. In analyze it, read the conversation exercise A again. In this part, we have to another um, Let's uh, read this part at our uh, time. And he said, for example, function complete a table with checks and crosses. Ok, aquí vamos a marcar lo que es el check and crosses. El example says, we use will to make predictions. ¿no? Como le dije hace un momento, utilizamos el will para hacer predicciones. Aquí está, check. To talk about plans and intentions, no, el will no se trabaja para lo que son planes, entonces ponemos una X. El will, to talk about spontaneous decisions, yes, para todo lo que son de manera espontánea. Che. When you have to use going to, el going to, ¿trabajamos to make predictions? No, yes or no, yes, going to, to make predictions too. El will y el going trabajan para lo que son predicciones. Ambas se utilizan para hacer predicciones, pero tienen diferentes usos, ¿ok? Trabajan para hacer predicciones, pero tienen diferentes usos. El will 
eh, exactamente, solamente trabaja para el uso de tomar una decisión de manera espontánea. En el caso del going to, trabaja para hacer planes e intenciones. Planes, el going to. ¿Y qué sucede con this part X? ¿Ok? Entonces, en conclusion, el will y el going son para hacer predicciones, oraciones para el fu. Futuro. Ambos trabajan todo lo que es relacionado con el futuro. Sin embargo, ambas tienen diferentes usos. Por ejemplo, el will solo trabaja en el caso para hablar de manera espontánea, decisiones espontáneas que salió en el momento, sin pensarlo. En el caso del going to, no. En el caso del going to, se habla para planes ya realizados, planes que tú estás enfocado, que ya has pensado realizar y unas intenciones que tú ya te has propuesto a realizarlas, ¿ok? Eso se trabaja el going to, para ello. In order to know more about this part, let's practice. Complete the sentences with the correct form of will or going to. Sometimes there is more than one possible answer. A veces puede haber más de una respuesta posible, ¿ok? Cuando mismo vamos a darnos cuenta si es intención o es planificado es de acuerdo al contexto. Para ello tenemos que leer bien la oración para poder enfatizarnos si está correctamente el will o el going. ¿Ok? Vamos a verlo aquí. Let's start. One. We have to do something or the problem get worse. In that case, that is it. Will o también puede ser en este caso is going to get worse. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué is miss? ¿Está hablando con we? No. Aquí está hablando da problem. El problema se va a empeorar. Dice, we have to do something. Si tenemos que hacer algo. Dice, no. O el problema va a empeorar. O empeorará o puede, va, o va a empeorar. Una de las dos puede ser correctas. ¿Ok? Si trabajamos con will, solo colocamos da problem will get worse. Nada más. Si trabajamos con el going to, tenemos que poner el verbo to be. En este caso, problem es uncountable. Es is, is going to. ¿Ok? Number two. What you do this weekend? Two. What are you going to do this weekend? ¿Qué vas a hacer este fin de semana? What are you going to do this weekend? Number three. This is really heavy. Entonces, si está muy pesado, entonces, ¿qué va a pasar? I will help. You. Puede ser de manera abreviada, como en este caso, I'll, apostrophe in the case double L, no I'll, o simplemente lo puedo escribir de manera completa, will. I will help you, o I'll help you. ¿Ok? Number four. Take the bus to work from now on instead of the card. I'm, acá abreviado o correctamente escrito, I'm going to take. ¿Ok? Es algo planificado. Number five. Without our help, the blue whale won't survive. ¿Recuerdan ustedes que en la clase anterior les dije que el negativo del will es won't? No puede ser will not. In the case es won't. ¿Ok? Won't survive. O en that case, it can be isn't going to. Cualquiera de las dos es correcta. El will negativo... Sería want o simplemente negativo isn't going to. Number six. I need to return this book to the library, but I'm late for a class already. B, in that case, I'll, con apostrophe double L, or will do it for you. Ok, in that case. Todo chicos está de acuerdo al contexto. Para eso tenemos que leer muy bien las oraciones. Let's continue. Listening a weather forecast. In part A, we have to the listening part. A. Listen to the weather forecast and choose the activity you could do tomorrow in each area. ¿Ok? Vamos a escuchar un documental acerca de lo que es el clima y vamos a escoger, vamos a elegir la actividad que tú podrías realizar mañana en cada área. Ok, number one set in the north, two in the east, three in the west, four in the south. Ok, norte, oeste, este, al sur. 
De acuerdo a ellos, ¿qué actividad se puede realizar? Go to the beach, go skiing, go to a walk, make a snowman for a walk, fly a kite, go skiing, go to the beach, go to the movies for a walk, make a snowman, or go to the beach again, ¿ok? You have to choose one for each, for each number, ¿ok? Listen to the following video and let's check this part, my laser here. Okay, listen. Unit 9, Section 8, Exercises A and B. Hello, and welcome to the weather. It looks like it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow for most of the country. In the north, it's going to be bright and sunny, and it'll stay like that all day. A good day for those of you who are planning to spend some time at the beach. In the east, it'll be a little colder than today, and it's going to be very windy. It'll be dry, though, so you can leave your umbrella at home. Unfortunately, that's not true in the west. It'll start raining around noon, and I'm afraid it's going to be like that for the rest of the day. It'll be better in the south, but you won't see any sunshine. It's going to be cloudy all day. That's it for the weather. I'll be back with more at six o'clock. Okay. In this part, we have to choose the correct answer. For example, from number one, in the north, go to the beach. In number two, in the east, what you have to do? Fly a kite. Number three, in the west, you can use go to the movies. In number four, in the south, you can use for a work. Okay, in part B says, listen again, are the sentences T that is true or F that is false? Si las oraciones son correctas o son falsas. Vamos a escuchar de nuevo el audio y vamos a ubicar si esas oraciones son correctas o son falsas y vamos a encerrar la respuesta correcta. Listen again. Unit 9, Section 8, Exercises A and B. Hello, and welcome to the weather. It looks like it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow for most of the country. In the north, it's going to be bright and sunny, and it'll stay like that all day. A good day for those of you who are planning to spend some time at the beach. In the east, it'll be a little colder than today, and it's going to be very windy. It'll be dry, though, so you can leave your umbrella at home. Unfortunately, that's not true in the West. It'll start raining around noon, and I'm afraid it's going to be like that for the rest of the day. It'll be better in the South, but you won't see any sunshine. It's going to be cloudy all day. That's it for the weather. I'll be back with more at 6 o'clock. For example, the exit. Number one, in north, the weather is going to stay the same all day. True, verdadero. Number two, in the east, it yes, will be warmer tomorrow than today. False, false. Number three, in the west, the weather is going to stay the same all day. True, verdadero. Number four, in the south, the weather will be better than in the west. True, okay? These are the correct answers, okay? And let's complete your book. Van y completando sus libros, chicos, okay? No need to know more about this part. Let's continue with the writing description of a place. Read the description of a place and any of the facts about Boulder are also true for the place where you live. In that case, we have an interesting description about a paragraph about Boulder in the city of Colorado in USA. In that case, say, think about your home beaches sometime and make notes. A home beaches, geography, populations, climate, history, what is known for, make attractions, no? La geografía, la population. Eh, la población, el clima, la historia, qué es más conocido ahí, qué atracciones tiene. Y acorde de ello, de, es, 
de, acá hay un ejemplo que nos dan acerca de una descripción de un lugar. Podemos describir el lugar que nosotros deseamos, ubicando más o menos estas ideas. Y de acuerdo a ello, chicos, vamos a trabajar la siguiente actividad. Nos dice Life Skills. In that case, working groups and think about the people who live in your biggest town city. Which of these factors do you think are more important to them? Check for it. ¿Cuál de ellas, de cuál de esas ocho palabras que tenemos que es jobs, trabajos, place to enjoy nature, lugares para, para lo que es disfrutar la naturaleza, world roads, buenas pistas, ship houses and apartments, unos eh, departamentos y casas a, eh, a bajo costo, good schools, buenos colegios, clean air, un aire limpio, puro, Good public transportations, buenas eh, transportes públicos, and places to go shop y lugares para ir de compras. ¿Cuál crees que para ese lugar que tú piensas que es un lugar muy bueno, bonito, sería más importante que tuviera? ¿Cuál de ellos dos? De acuerdo a eso, de manera personal, van a hacer un check y elijan cuál de ellos creen ustedes que sería más importante para ese lugar que ustedes están imaginándose, ¿no? In order to know these part sets, for example, plan A. In plan A sets, uh, in that case, work for the local villas on downtown council, and then council is considering three development plans for the green area on the picture. Read information about each plan, and ser colti, verdadero o falso, about each plan. Hay tres planes, A, A, B, and C, A, A, and B and C. Y de acuerdo a ello, vamos a encerrar las respuestas si es falso o verdadero. Plan A said, the council is planning to use this area for human development. They are going to build a large number of new houses as well as other facilities, such as schools and a shopping mall. They are also going to create more roads and provide public transportation to the area. They will allow a few companies to build facilities near the new development. Okay? This plan means, number one, a lot of people will to live to the area. In that case, that is it. True. Number two, there will be more jobs in the area. T. And number three, false, that in local people will be able to enjoy nature. Okay? Para eso, chicos, tenemos que ir leyendo cada plan. Acá tenemos un plan number A, plan B, in that case. De acuerdo al plan B, vamos a este plan, quiere decir, this plan means. ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? Vamos a saber si es verdadero o es falso. De acuerdo a ello. No, the council is going to create a large part for people to enjoy. They plan to clean up the area to provide facilities such as picnic tables, barbecues, and a playground to children. They are going to build several new roads to the park, but they won't allow the constructions of houses, schools, of stores in the green area. This is plan means local people will have a place to relax in that case, that is it. Verdadero, true. They will build a lot of new jobs in the area. False. People will be able to enjoy clean air in that case. True, okay. In plan C, what happened with the plan C? The council is planning to sell the green area to provide developers. The developers wants to build a small number of large, expensive houses. They are going to build new strips and a small park. The park will be exclusively for residents. The council is going to provide a bus service to the area for people who work in the houses. This plan means there will be some new jobs in the area. In that case, that is it. True. Everyone in the biggest town city will enjoy to the new part. In that case, false. A lot of people will come to, to live in the area. F. False. Okay, according about you have to read and also you have to complete this part. Vamos a ir completando. This part. Write four factors you check in exercise A. Tenemos los cuatro factores de ello y vamos a ir ubicándolos aquí, esos cuatro factores ¿no? que hemos visto hace un momento. 
De acuerdo a esos cuatro factores, vamos ubicándolo y vamos a ubicar si se encuentra en el plan A, plan B o plan C. Hemos considerado tres planes, si esos factores se consideren ello, ¿no? A ver, nos dice, considerar el plan A, give a score for each factor, plus two, más dos, plan will be have a very good effect of this, si en realidad the plan will be have no effect of this, minus two, the plan will have a very bad effect of this, number two, write your scores in the plan A and column, and repeat this one, two, and plus B for C. For example, aquí, as examples, one, Places to enjoy nature, it can be one factor. Jobs, good schools, and good public transportation. No, this is my examples. In that case, for example, in places to enjoy nature, in qué plan podría ir? For me, plus two, because it's plan A, no? Y así ustedes van a ir colocando si es eh, serio, plan B, o menos two, no? De acuerdo a o lo que ustedes creen conveniente. Acuerdo a tu ello, eh, acuerdo a, a both of these sets, first shoes, second shoes and third shoes. En la primera, la segunda y la tercera, ¿en qué plan cree usted que se encontrará? Por ejemplo, plan A, in that case, ¿no? Meta condition in this part. What did you learn it? How do you learn it? And uh, what do you, you see for it? What are you learning here? I learning to use will and be going to. How do you learn it? I learn it through a video, picture, examples about my student book, and also uh, with a PowerPoint, and also in the vivential class. What do you use it for? I use it for talking about future plans and intention plans, right? This is about the metacognition. Recuerden que la metacognición es de manera personal. This is an important phrase for all of you. In that case, we have themes of all of today. And remember to keep in mind all the health care in the family context. So your health is first. Recuerden, chicos, que esta tarea, esta actividad no se envía por mensajería, ya que ha sido trabajada en la clase en vivo del día de hoy. Este video queda en la plataforma de Cubicol para los estudiantes que no han podido ingresar hoy día a la clase en vivo para que puedan trabajar sus libros del Student Book es lo que se ha podido trabajar con sus compañeros, ¿sí? Así que eso no se envía para la revisión propia y, bueno, well, that's all for today. No re recuerden su asistencia, por favor, de la clase del día de hoy and thank you all of you and blessings to you.